I'd like to do a problem now on the subject of balances on reactive systems in chemical engineering. And in particular, I'd like to introduce using the extent of reaction in problem solving for reactive systems. The extent of reaction, xi, is a parameter that when combined with the stoichiometric coefficient allows us to express the number of moles of a species A reacted within a certain chemical reaction. So for instance, if we start with the chemical reaction that produces ammonia, we'll have nitrogen that combines with hydrogen to produce the ammonia. And when we balance the reaction, uh, we have the stoichiometric coefficients 1, 3, and 2 in front of the various compounds that appear in the chemical reaction. So the extent of reaction tells us that 1 times xi is the number of moles of nitrogen reacted. 3 times xi is the number of moles of hydrogen reacted. And 2 times xi is the number of moles of ammonia produced. So having this quantity xi that gives us the moles of a species produced or consumed in a reaction allows us to make mass balance calculations in a very organized way um, in when the chemical reaction itself is, is taking place. Now often in a chemical reaction problem, we are given another piece of information, the fractional conversion. So fractional conversion of a species, let's say a species A, is the moles reacted of species A over the moles fed. So the, it's the fraction of the moles of this species fed that are actually reacted. Now if we go back to looking at the extent of reaction, we see that the moles of the species reacted is something that's very nicely expressed with the extent of reaction. So whether we're looking at fractional conversion of nitrogen or hydrogen, the extent of reaction is going to help us to write the fractional conversion um, very nicely in terms of how often the reaction goes. To see how extent of reaction works in a problem, we have a problem with this ammonium reaction to consider. The problem is the feed to a continu continuous ammonia formation reactor is 100 moles per second nitrogen, 300 moles per second hydrogen, 1 mole per second argon. The formation reaction is the one we saw previously, and the percent conversion of hydrogen, or the fractional conversion, is 60% or 0.6 in fractional conversion. The question that the problem asks is what is the molar flow rate of each of the species as it exits the reactor? So we're going to solve this problem using extent of reaction. So in order to solve this problem, we need to sketch out the reactor. So I'm going to sketch the reactor with a feed stream and an exit stream and write the numbers that came with the problem. The feed is 100 moles per second nitrogen. It is 300 moles per second hydrogen. It is 1 mole per second argon. The reaction, as we saw from the previous sheet, is nitrogen plus 3 hydrogen becomes 2 ammonia. So the problem told us that the fractional conversion of hydrogen was 0 0.60. So not all the hydrogen converts, which means not all the nitrogen is used, and a certain amount of ammonium is produced. So in order to use the extent of reaction, uh, where what we're going, we know the 
amount of the various chemicals that were fed, but our extent of reaction for this particular problem tells us how many moles have reacted. So because the stoichiometric coefficient of nitrogen is 1, 1 times xi is the moles nitrogen reacted, 100 moles went in, xi moles reacted, so there must be 100 minus xi moles per second of nitrogen coming out in the efflux stream. Likewise, for hydrogen, using the stoichiometric coefficient times the extent of reaction, we get the moles of hydrogen reacted. So if 300 moles come in and 3 times xi moles react, that means 300 minus 3 times xi moles per second of hydrogen must come out of the reactor. Argon is inert. Nothing happens. It doesn't appear in our chemical reaction. And so the same amount comes out as went in. But in addition, the reaction produced the ammonia and 2 times xi, the stoichiometric coefficient times xi, moles of, of ammonia were produced. So that comes out of the reactor as well. 0 went in, 0 plus 2 times xi ammonia, moles per second of ammonia come out. So we've now written all the mass balances on these species in the reactor, and all we need is the value of xi. Where are we going to get the value of xi? We're going to get xi from the fractional conversion, which we have the definition is the moles of, this is the fractional conversion of hydrogen, the moles hydrogen reacted over the moles fed. And going again using extent of reaction, the moles of hydrogen reacted is 3 times xi. The moles of hydrogen fed is 300. And so 0 0.60 equals 3 xi over 300 is the equation we have to solve for xi. That's not too difficult. Let's write it again here. 0 0.60, which is the fractional conversion, is equal to the moles reacted over the moles fed, and we get xi equals 60. The exit stream we can now calculate. Uh, for the nitrogen, we had 100 minus xi, and so 100 minus 60 is 40 moles per second of hydrogen, nitrogen. Excuse me. For the hydrogen, we had 300 minus 3 xi, 3 times xi, 180, 300 minus 180, 120 moles per second hydrogen. Argon, no change. And then the amount of ammonia produced is 2 times i. 2 times i, i is 60, is 120 moles per second. So the problem, although somewhat complex because of a chemical reaction occurring, was simplified by using the extent of reaction. Uh, this tool is used by writing the balanced reaction equation, combining the stoichiometric coefficients with the reaction so that you can obtain the moles reacted or the moles produced, and then taking those moles reacted and moles produced and combining them with the inflows to get the outflows. The reactants reduce the inflow, the products add, and after that we use the extra fact of the fractional conversion to solve for extent of reaction and the rest um, came quite simply. It is possible to do problems like this using atomic balances. 
When you get to more complicated reactor problems, however, the extent of reaction, particularly in multiple equation, multiple reaction problems, the extent of reaction, moles produced, moles reacted, is a very handy tool um, in these mass balance problems.